to this take drive time episode four actually no it's episode five can you believe it this is the fifth one um, just some reactions today about uh, some things that we did in seminar and also doing some thinking about Apollonius Rhodius's Argonautica uh, it was um, we looked at uh, about 150 odd lines 200 lines about book one 300 to 400 and around there Jason's speech to the assembled host of heroes on uh, the disembarkation scene, the election. That's a very powerful word to use. And now we're looking at Jason and we're in the Hellenistic now. So we're into new heroics. The Hellenistic man is very different than the Homeric hero. Uh, but we're still an epic and we can't help it, but we make connections between the two and everybody automatically disqualifies Jason's heroics and says he's a crybaby and he doesn't know what he's doing and so on and so forth. Uh, but my suggestion is have a look again. Read between the lines. He's different, right? And just because he's different doesn't mean he can't be a hero. And there's a lot going on in the Argonautica. But in this specific scene, you can see this young, excited, untested, potential in this Hellenistic man, right? And the author Apollonius Rhodius in the third century writing about Jason. You can sense, yes, it's epic and he does a great job and he's really good at it and more people should read it, but he's really concerned about character. Right? The character drives it and you know, they're not great, huge, traditional, mythological supermen with quote-unquote unearthly powers. And they're not demigods, they're just men. But that's what makes it Hellenistic, and that's what makes it so important. And in that scene in the beginning, Jason, I'm going to say cleverly, presents his argument, lays out what needs to get done when they're to go to foreign lands, to go to Aietes' kingdom. He acts as the social glue and holds those, those heroes together of those specialists and non-specialists, the Heracleans and the Orphics, or by whatever measure. And Jason is going to hold them together, right? And Heracles is there. He adds the authority in order to get them all together and to agree on Jason. And Jason, at that crucial moment about line 400 or so, he rises up right and joy with joy and says you know you know <laughs> paraphrase thank god you know they they selected me right and he's quite happy about it he has no idea right in his naivete the horrors that are going to wait them await them but he knows that he's a greek right and with these host of heroes with him like he says to his mother uh have faith in the gods and in my safe return, thanks to these men. Can you imagine a Homeric hero saying, I'm gonna survive this war because of all these guys? Uh, I don't really think that uh, that would be the case. I can't see that coming from Achilles' mouth or Ajax' mouth. But with Jason, no problem, right? And, uh, it, and it's accomplished. And he references Helos at the beginning, right? Very cleverly talking about, you know, their community, their country. Uh, where they're from, their land, and all these disparate heroes, you know, what they what they are all are Greeks, they're all Hellenes, and then at the end, Apollo is propitiated with sacrifices, the god of embarkation and disembarkation, and the poet Apollonius Rhodius once again is presenting Jason as an Apollonian figure, as, as a god, he's like Apollo, right, and he's going to represent Greece, this group of men, Right, are going to be the envoys, if you will, of Greek culture out beyond Greece, beyond the clashing rocks in the Symplegades, in the Black Sea, when they go to the terrible kingdom of Aietes uh, to retrieve the Golden Fleece. It's like the impossible mission to the other side of the moon. And, uh, and it's accomplished, but you get to read it all. You have to read it all. There's <laughs> just one scene in book one. But to tie in, we're going to be talking about Apollo in Myth Take on our next episode of Myth Take. That's episode 20. So uh, once we get that done, we'll shoot it out to you real quick. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. 
thanks for uh, joining me here on Through the Lion's Gate on Myth Take Drive Time. This is episode five. It's been a slice. I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon.